that time of year when we keep tweaking our thermostat. Everybody has their magic number for what feels just right. That got us wondering, what is the ideal indoor temperature? Susan Elizabeth Littlefield has the answer in tonight's Good Question. It's the kind of weather we can all agree on. Debbie and Jim are locals. How would you describe this weather? I think this is perfect. So beautiful. Greg is from out of town. I had no preconceived notions about uh, Minnesota weather, just hoping they'd be better than Southern Illinois. And so far, did not disappoint. Days like this are fabulous and fleeting. Some fear the cold, others embrace it. I'm pretty cold. I'm all right. You know, <laughs> the cold does not bother me at all. <laughs> Let it go. You're like Elsa from Frozen. <laughs> Just bring it. <laughs> like it or not, we're all going to be spending more time indoors, and that's where comfort becomes relative. What do you like the temperature to be inside? No lower than, I think, 69. I think we're like, you know, 70-ish. Wintertime, 68 degrees. What's your personal favorite indoor temp? So my wife and I disagree on this one. What this pulmonologist says is not debatable is that cooler air can make breathing harder. The colder it is, the less humidity there can be. So the less water there is in the air, which means as you breathe, you start losing more water and you start to dry out. So your throat gets drier, your lungs get drier. Even inside. Even inside. And then there's no humidity from the outdoors entering the house either. We've all heard that phrase, oh, it's drafty inside. But that cold air could affect your health. It can affect your health. The World Health Organization says for most generally healthy people, the thermostat should be set at 65 degrees or warmer in the winter. For people with lung conditions, 70 degrees or higher. So there are guidelines, but there's also reality. As in most happy marriages, my wife gets her way. <laughs> and so we keep a pretty warm house at about 72 to 75. Coin what tip my wife wants. Yeah, to keep it, it's you know? what mom wants. Yes. <laughs> she determines everything, right? Happy wife, happy life. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield. That's the theme of the story. WCCO 4 News. Dr. Steve says the cold affects breathing more severely outdoors. He recommends that when you can see your breath, avoid intense workouts. And he says, scarves pulled over your mouth are a great defense for getting sick. I th we think, Chris, that we're like about 72-ish at our place. 65. 65? Yes, <laughs> a little, it's a little chilly. That's my I, mom's house. That, yeah, that is. <laughs> she keep it cold. Yeah, she You can does. see your breath at your mom's house. It's so what are cold. You? Uh, you know what? We haven't turned the heat on yet, but even 65 for this dude who likes it cold, that's too cold. Yeah, you do like it cold. I do like it cold. Yeah, for sure.